but please don't kill me. My mother was revealing the power that I had, which I never knew that I have. And I said to her, Mama, you shall be saved. You shall serve the God I serve. She said, no, over my dead body. I began to pray for my mother. I began to call her name. You know, I began to fight in prayer. Am I talking to somebody here? I call her name. Mary Madina, you shall be saved. Mary Madina, you shall be saved. Mary Madina, you shall be saved. Some of you don't know what they call dangerous prayers. But I saw, I had, Pastor, Pastor Ken, I heard of dangerous prayers for the first time when I went to Nigeria. I was in this church and the leader of the service stood and said, uh, Children of God, before we walk on the man of God, we are going to pray some dangerous prayers. I had never heard such a statement before in my life. So say, let me wait and see how the dangerous prayer is going to be. Then he asked the question, how many people here have enemies? The whole church raised up their hands. He said, we are going to kill them before they kill us. Right, Jesus. Now I have to wait and see how they are going to kill them. They began to pray, by fire we kill, by fire we kill, by fire we scatter, by fire we scatter. Now, they were praying while dancing. I was the only one remaining standing because I didn't know how to. I said, let me join before they kill me also. I said, by fire we stand. By fire we kill. By fire we destroy. Then after we kill them, he said, after you kill them, you don't leave them there. You bury them. They began, by fire we bury. By fire we bury. By fire. We bury all our enemies. But what shocked me, <laughs> what shocked me, Pastor Ken, is when the bishop came to preach. He said, children of God, I don't understand you. How can you kill your enemies? You have to let them leave so that they may see your success. <laughs> then he said, every enemy you have killed, we are going to leave. <laughs> So we began to pray by fire it is, by fire it is, by fire it is. Somebody shout hallelujah in this house. There is a God who answers prayer. I called on the God to save my mother. And God was a faithful God. I left after a certain period of time. I went to Zambia for a mission. While I was in Zambia, God appeared to my mother in a dream. Said, you follow the path of your son. And a servant of God came to visit my mother that morning. And when my mother explained the dream, at that time, my mother gave her life to Jesus. Amen. I went on my way back. At the arrival at the airport in Entebbe, the leaders of the church had come to receive me. Guess who was among them? I had no idea what had happened to her. When I saw her at the airport, I said, who brought this witch here? <laughs> now, when she began to run towards me, then I, I said, I'm finished. I don't know, whatever my uncle told her, she has come to finish me at the airport. But before she could get where I was, she said, son, praise the Lord. I am saved, I am born again. And as I'm talking right now, my mother is a born again. Uh, I pray for your family. I pray for your loved ones. Uh, I pray for your relatives uh, that they will receive the gift of salvation. They will receive and become a champions in life. Say amen. amen. Give your neighbor a high five and say, I am a champion. I am, I am a champion. Oh God, I don't have all the time. I don't have all the time, but let me let me close this. Let me close this. Now when we get back to the passage, looking at the life of Job. 
Job is a standing out leader of his time. That a man did not only defend what he believed, but he stood for it. Job, amongst all the critics and friends and family divided, leaving him standing by himself, he was never intimidated because he knew that God is on his side. It is better for you to struggle in the beginning than you to struggle in your later days. Suffer today. Tomorrow you are going to celebrate. When you live for God, God is a rewarder. He's a faithful rewarder of them that seek him diligently. Can I hear you say amen? amen. The devil kind of, I mean God kind of brought himself to the devil and said, hey man, do you see my boy? Do you see my man? You see my servant Job? The devil said, Job is not praising you for nothing. You have blessed the man. He has everything. You touch, allow me touch what he has and he will cast you in your face. God say, yeah, I give you permission. Now, remember the scripture says he was asking the devil and say, where are you coming from? The devil has no address. He say to and flow. He has no place. When you lose touch with God, you become to and flow. You have no address. Ask him and say, what is your address? <laughs> Job was one of the greatest men of the East. You are going to be great because you are a man and woman from the East. Can I hear an amen in this house? And much more that you are covering God in your life. To cut the long story short, the devil kind of like succeeded. In inflicting pain on Job. But Job was a champion. The spirit of a champion was upon him. Amen. He never allowed to back down on what he believed. Even when the wife said, cast God and die. She simply said, die, I get married. But Job was not willing to give up on his God. Yeah, when, 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 when a lady say, curse and go and die, <laughs> when you die, what happens? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> she moves on. Probably somebody's eyeing her. Yeah. Am I talking to somebody here? Yeah, sure, yes, but Job said, I'll never do such a thing. That's why he made a statement that some believers use. That can we expect only good things from God? That was a personal statement from job so don't make it yours because god is not author of evil stuff so the man because of defending his faith he mentioned that statement but god was watching every state of job's life and because the spirit of a winner was upon his life god never allowed the devil to win I pray for you. In every challenge you are facing today, God will not allow the devil to win over your life. Everything you are faced with in your family, with your paper issues, God will not allow the devil to win. This world and the, 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 the things that belong in it, they belong to God. Everything that is in this world belongs to God. You can live anywhere you want to live. You can do whatever you want to do as long as God is on your side. Uh, give your neighbor a high five and say, I am a champion. The spirit of a champion is upon me. Say amen. You may be down today, but I can see you going to rise again. Uh, you may be struggling right now, but I see God is going to make a way for you. You may be crying, but one good thing is, uh, weeping may endure but for a night. Uh, but joy cometh in the morning. Look at the and say, your morning has come. Uh, you are about to celebrate. Uh, Say amen, somebody. There are four things that are going to happen to you as a champion. Quickly write them down. Number one, stability. You shall be stable. This wind that is blowing you left and right shall live your life forever. God will plant you and establish you. Look at the and say, I am a champion. Huh? And I'm going to be stable. 
spiritually stable, financially stable. Amen. Amen. Family wise stable. Amen. We have people who are no stable. They don't have a church to call home. Keep on moving to and fro. Some of them don't even have time for fellowship. They say they worship God online. It's good sometimes to worship God online when you are at work. But the days that God has separated for you, you got to fellowship. Because God is a God of fellowship. He's not a God of online. Online is your own way of reaching somewhere. But fellowship, it is God's way to reach you. Am I talking to somebody here? Do you think on any single day that Pastor Ken will appear through your computer, boom, and lay hands on you, then go back to church? That's why Hebrews 10, 25, forsake not fellowship, coming together as others do. Which means there are some people who have that behavior. Touch your neighbor and say, I am not one of them. So in order for you to be stable, you have to be in touch with God. In a fellowship with God. Number two, inward nourishment. Inward nourishment. You got to be nourished your spirit by, by reading the word of God, by Amen. worship, by prayer. Amen. Some of you, you listen to music that does not even build. Poo, poo, doesn't even have a message. Let your house be filled with praise Amen. and worship. Amen. Because it is in the presence of God that our sickness has disappeared. It is in the presence of God that we become champions. I want you talking to somebody here. Amen. Number three, fruitfulness. And productivity. You shall be fruitful. When Joseph was in the house of Potiphar, the Bible says, and the house of Potiphar prospered in the hands of Joseph. Whatever you do, wherever you go, let things not die in your hands, but let things prosper in your hands. Can I hear you say amen? Because that's where your promotion and increase is going to come from. You are a champion. You are not called to fail. You are called to win. Number four. Strengthen and durability. Strength and durability. You shall be stable. And shaken. Say amen. amen. Troubles will come beat you on every side. But you remain standing. Because you are a champion. Say hallelujah. And number five. Success. Can I hear you say amen? amen? You will not be a failure, but you are going to be successful in this life. If you believe it, let me hear a louder amen in the house of God. You will not be a failure, but you are going to win. Amen. Say amen. amen. As I close, I've never seen a man walking when it has rained. Like in Africa, where I come from, when it rains, there's mud everywhere some places because now things are changing depends where you live when you walk and when you are walking and then you sleep and fall do you do you When you're working and then you slip and fall, do you remain on the ground there and begin to say, hey, I'm down, oh, I am finished. When you fall, you will wake up faster than the way you fell and walk as if you never fell. What? You don't belong where you have fallen. You belong where you are going. Today, somebody is rising up again. Your family is rising up again. Your life is rising up again. Everybody stand on your feet in the name of Jesus. I'll lift up your hands above your head and begin to declare that the spirit of a champion is upon my life. Lift up your voice, everybody. Thank you, sir. 
and begin to speak to God and begin to speak to God. Open up your mouth. Say something. Say something to God. The spirit of a champion is upon your life. You are not called to fail, but you are called to be a champion. In the name of Jesus, speak somebody. If you're a child of God, open up your mouth. Your father God is waiting to hear what you say. Say something. I refuse to fail. I'm not born to be a failure, but I'm born to be a winner. The spot of where I am today, the spot of what is happening today, the spirit of a champion is upon me. Somebody lift up your hands and begin to speak to God. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I appreciate it. Lord, I worship you. I glorify your name. Speak to God some. God is going to make you a champion. You have a pain. You have some struggles of your family. Your children have gone crazy. Everything you don't understand it. God is going to make you a champion. Your husband, your marriage is on the rock. You, you, know, you don't know what is going on right now. But God is going to make you a champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lift up your hands and declare in the atmosphere. And say I am a champion. The spirit of the Lord is upon me. For he has anointed me. Oh, Oh, champions, champions, the daughters and sons of God. You have been made a champion, and the spirit of a champion will be upon your life. We see the later days of Job were more glorious than the first days. He became more prosperous, he became more blessed. God restored him seven times. Somebody begin to clap your hands and declare seven times restoration, seven times restoration. Come on, clap your hands and declare over your life. Seven time restoration over your life. Come on, go ahead, go ahead. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Oh, Sakatembo. Seven, seven times restoration happened to the life of Job. So shall it happen to you. You are a champion in the name of Jesus. Lift up your hands, everybody. You may be here right now living a backslidden state of life and I want to challenge you my friend, my brother my sister you can commit your life again to God today say Lord I cannot be a champion without you without you I'm going to be a loser all my life without you I'm going to be a failure all my life but I want you to help me to become a winner the devil pushes me always in the wrong side of life. But I want to shift from that side to the side of God. This is your time, my friend. If you are saying, Apostle J.K. Sekalala, please pray with me. I want you to come forward. Let me pray with you right now. You say, man of God, pray with me. I don't know what is going on. But I want God to help me. We have come here to raise you again. You can rise up again. You can beat that sickness again. You can be, beat that challenge again. In the name of Jesus. If you're such a person, I'm waiting for you. There is nothing to be afraid of. Nothing to be ashamed of. Come. Let God revive you. Let God renew your faith. Renew your fellowship. Renew your commitment. Somebody come. Let God help you. In the name of Jesus. You are there going through some struggles of life. You want to be a champion. Come. Some struggles of life. You don't even understand what is going on. Just come. God make me a champion in this field. You are being fought on left and right at the place of work. People don't like you. They reject you. They think you are a foreigner in this land. But you are not a foreigner. In the presence of God. A spirit of rejection is upon you. You are rejected. In different places without knowing why. But God is able to renew you. To make you a champion. Come closer. Come closer. In the name of Jesus. I want to touch somebody with an anointing right now. In any challenge you have. God is going to make you a champion. I believe in miracles and signs and wonders. God is still at work today. He is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what we can ask or think. 
you are going through a certain kind of challenge in your life please come please come I know you're already a child of God, but you're rich and level. You have many enemies put you on the wall. You don't know what to do and where to go. Let me speak a word over your life. It is able to change your present situation. It is able to change your present situation and make you a champion. In the name of Jesus, let a spirit of a champion rest upon your life. Everybody lift up your hand and begin to speak, Lord, I receive the spirit of a champion. I receive the mind of a champion. I receive the nature of a champion. I receive a character of a champion. I receive a behavior of a champion. I receive the faith of a champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Holy God, as we reach right now to you with the man of God. As we touch you. Something fresh is coming upon your life. Something new is touching your spirit. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shakata. Oh, God, let's pray for them. May God make your champion, Mama. Every struggle you are going through right now, receive a spirit of a champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall not be a failure, but you shall be a winner. Be. Receive a spirit of a champion in every area of your life, every aspect of your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. My brother, I declare and decree over your life. Become a champion in the field where you are right now. I'll receive a spirit of a champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, my sister, everything that you may be struggling with right now. May God give you a spirit of a champion. In the mighty name of Jesus. You shall win. You shall win. Oh, sister, every struggle you may be going through right now. Uh, receive a spirit of a champion. In the name of Jesus. May you receive a spirit of a champion, my sister. Whatever it is that you are facing today, may God give you the power and the spirit of a champion. In the name of Jesus. Every spirit of discouragement, frustration, depression. Oh, see a devil cut. I rebuke it and I pray that God will close you with the spirit of a champion. May you become a champion in the field where you are right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, I decree and declare you are not a failure in this life, sister. But I decree that you are a champion. Receive the spirit of a champion. May God fill you one more time. May God fill you with fire. 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 Fire on high. Fire on high. Fire on high. Fire on high. In the name of Jesus, receive, 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 receive. Fresh spirit. Spirit of a champion. Where the Holy Ghost, where the Holy Ghost, no other spirit can stand. No other spirit can stand. In the name of Jesus. I separate you from the failures of your father's house. I separate you from the castles of your family. I break every chain that has been following you. And I speak a spirit of a champion. On your life. We declare over your life, sister, spirit of a champion be upon your life. You'll be a champion in every field where God has planted you. In the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, you are a champion. You are a champion. The spirit of a champion is upon your life. God is raising you again in a powerful way. Where others are defeated, you shall succeed. Name of Jesus. Hosi and Baba. You shall beat anything that enemy brings your way. The spirit of a champion is upon you. You are champion in the name of Jesus. Holy Mokata. What others have failed to do, you shall do. What others have failed to overcome, you shall overcome. Reconsigada, you are a champion. You are a champion. Spirit of a champion is upon your life. May God restore to you the years of pain and struggle. 
in the name of Jesus. Spirit of a champion, be upon your life, mama. In your old age, you shall no struggle. May God make you a champion in the name of Jesus. Woman of God, I declare, we declare over your life, Spirit of a champion. overcome and even your generation will not struggle in the name of Jesus young man you will grow up to be profitable to your family and to the kingdom of God the spirit of a champion be upon your life in Jesus name Amen somebody lift up your hands and give God the praise in the name of Jesus let the spirit of a champion be upon your life. Where others have struggled, God is going to make life easy for you. You are a champion. What your family never accomplished, you shall accomplish. In the name of Jesus, spirit of a champion is upon you. In the name of Jesus, in your old age, you shall always be a champion. The spirit of a champion will be upon your life. In the name of Jesus, we bless you. Amen. I declare and declare, Mama, the later years of your life, you shall end like Job, full of life and full of days. Champion. Let's put our hands together for Pastor J.K. Sekala. Yeah. Hallelujah. Now let's put our hands together for Jesus who used him mightly. Good blessings. Come on, those hands are good enough. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Clap for your Jesus. If you believe you're going to be a champion, put your hands together. Like your man. Clap like a champion. 